Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kodash, double honor to Apostle the Great Millstone, and salutations to your leg with your host to be. And I'm your brother, Hawaii with you. It's your brother, Rumakaya. And uh, we pretty much going into a sit down showing that we don't have free will. You know what I'm saying? Every thought, every step that we take, you know what I'm saying? Every task that we deem making for ourselves, it's really the Lord uh, doing that, man. You know, because he's created spirits and he cre uh, he controls all things. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 8. It says, there is no man that have power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither have he power in the day of death. You know what I'm saying? So when it, when it comes down to the day of death, you can't make the decision whether you're going to live or not. You know, it's all up to the Lord. It says, there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall... Uh, and neither shall uh, wickedness deliver those that are given to it. So if the Lord is going to make you a wicked person, do wicked deeds, that's what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? If the Lord is going to make you a righteous person, do righteous deeds, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to do, you know? Uh, <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. It says, man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? You know what I'm saying? Because we don't make the decisions for ourselves. The Lord already gave, gave us the instruction. You know what I'm saying? Like it says in uh, uh, Job 33 and 15. You know what I'm saying? The Lord uh, uh, sealeth the instruction. The Lord sealeth the instruction, man. You know what I'm saying? When we wake up on our beds, you know? That's right. And if I might say, man, <laughs> that's why you see, uh, you see a lot of these wicked people. The Lord has sanctioned and ordained them to be that way, man. All right, when they go to sleep, uh, the Lord seals in them to be a demonic person or an evil, wicked uh, vessel. And that's what they wake up and that's how they uh, live their life day to day as a wicked vessel. The Lord sanctioned that because as that scripture previously says, the what, what did it say? It said if, you, if a person should live in wickedness. Well, <clears throat> go back to it. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 8, it says, there is no man to have power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither have he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. Exactly. So the Lord gave them over to that wickedness, and they're not going to be delivered from it. They're going to be taken in wickedness and evil acts, all orchestrated by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because he has sanctioned them to be destroyed. That's why a lot of our people, they can't understand this truth, man. So when you understand this truth, that's the Lord putting the spirit into you, all right, to understand this truth and to continue in righteousness. If you fall off or anything, or you you go back into the world, or you become one of these people that are still in the world, that's the Lord doing that to you. He has sanctioned and ordained that to happen to you. You see? So he's ordained people to stay in the world, to stay spiritually dead, and he also has ordained people to become righteous and to walk in the right way, man. All in the Lord. You see? Uh, <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. It says, The king's heart uh, is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Lord controls the minds uh, 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 of all people, man. You know what I'm saying? Israelites and heathens. You know what I'm saying? Just like when the day of the Lord comes, when it comes down to Judgment Day, Yahweh Shai doesn't even know. But the Lord is also controlling, you know, Yahweh Shai for him to come back and save his people, man. To save the elect, the 12,000 men. And, uh, and uh, other, other, other governing body of the 144,000 from 12,000 men from each tribe, you know what I'm saying? And then the men, women, and children that consist of the one third, you know? The Lord, the Heavenly Father knows when all this is happening, you know what I'm saying? The Lord, when, when the Spirit says that, uh, that, um, that Yahweh Shai has said that, uh, we shall do greater works, uh, uh, than Him, you know what I'm saying? That's the Lord giving us those thoughts to do those elemental things, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it says verse two, it says every way of man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. You know what I'm saying? He's the one who makes the judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want to do this or do that, commit wickedness or connect, uh, commit uh, righteousness. You know what I'm saying? It's the Lord who does that. Like how we grow in this wisdom and the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? To uh, follow the right way and the correct path. That's the Lord doing it. It ain't us, you know. That's right. And, that's, and if I might say, there's an example where it says, and uh, I believe it's in Ezekiel, it says the Lord is going to make Russia think an evil thought. You know, and that's going into the fact that the Lord can make you do whatever the hell he wants you to do, man. If he wants you to be a gun toting, uh, drug slinging nigga out here, that's what he's going to make you, man. 
If he wants you to be a adulterous, poor, slut, all right, come guzzling, come bucket, that's what the Lord is going to make you women, man. And that's what a lot of these women are because the Lord has turned them over to that uh, that lust, man. It tells you that in the New Testament, man. The Lord going to, will turn you over to that shit. And a lot of these people, they love wickedness and evil. So the Lord said, okay, I'm just going to turn you over to it, man. And that's him controlling your mind and pondering your mind, man. That's why it says the the uh, uh, the Lord controls the minds of the kings. Mm -hmm. That also goes goes into it, man. The Lord is the father of spirits, man. So he controls and, and, and navigates every spirit that he has created and put upon the earth, man. They're all all, all the yeah, spirits you see doing what they do, that's all because you how about Shimei Shai has sanctioned for them and ordained for them to do what they do, man. So that's why we don't get mad at the wicked. The Lord made them like that. The Lord woke us up to understand the truth. The Lord made us realize that our people are in a terrible position, all right, and that we need to come back to righteousness. We didn't know that we were the people of the Lord, man. But that spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, that breath, him dealing with your mind, that's what happened, man. It also can be on the opposite end for the for the wicked, man. He'll just make you do all kinds of wickedness all the way up to <coughs> your destruction, man. You see? Right, because the Lord... He also created homosexuals, yeah. and all he's doing is showing and proving that he exists. You know what I'm saying? Like how the scripture says, believe even for the very work's sake. You know what I'm saying? All this is happening to show that there is a God and that the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and the Heavenly Son that he had deemed to redeem his people to be that sacrifice is Yahweh Shah, and, uh, 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 and this is the Lord's work. You know what I'm saying? Have you know, have, if you notice, the... Uh, uh, we refer to the uh, certain uh, parts of the Bible as scriptures. It goes back to script. You know what I'm saying? This is the Lord's movie. He's the one who controls everything, how somebody's going to play this way or play that way and stuff because he's the director, you know? <clears throat> this is uh, Job 33 and 15. It says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he opened the ears of men and sealed their destruction. So as soon as you, uh, you know, come out of your sleep, this, that, and the other, everything that you finna do and stuff, or if you got things planned out or how, uh, 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 things planned out, you know what I'm saying? What's going to end up happening? You know, you uh, you think that you're the one who's uh, uh, finishing those tasks because you thought of it or it was just something that you applied yourself to, but really it's the Lord, you know? Like <clears throat> back in the scripture in Proverbs 20 and 24, men's goings of the Lord, how can a man know his own way? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can make a uh, you can make a task or a certain schedule within yourself or uh, within um, <clears throat> the, uh, 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 the throughout the week or during that day this that and the other and things just totally change man you know what I'm saying because it's not up to you man you know <clears throat> you got something I got uh, Psalm 37 uh, 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 where did you have another one? yeah 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 okay. <clears throat> it's um <clears throat> Actually, no, we're going to go to yours. What is it? Psalms 37. 23. Right. This is Psalms chapter 37, verse 23. It says, It says, The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh Shem Shai, and he delighted in his way. And that just proves what we were saying, man. The steps of a good man. All right, the people that are trying to do righteousness, all right, the men of great millstone from the apostles and elders on down, the Lord is dealing with this camp, man. He's having us walk in that way, man. All right, but the ways of the wicked, man, the Lord has set them in that. All right, none of the wicked shall ever understand this truth until they be destroyed, man. And the Lord has sanctioned that, man. Many shall be purified and made white. All right, but the wicked shall do wickedly, man. Why? Because your Hawa Bashim Shai has sanctioned and or, uh, ordained and orchestrated all that, man. It says, verse 24 says, Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. So if a good man, you know, a righteous man falls seven times, even if a righteous man falls, the Lord is going to direct his steps back into the right way, man. Somehow, some way, because Yahweh Bashim Shai is upholding that man with his, with, his, with his mind, man, with his hand, as it says. So that just proves to you that the ways of man is all according to what Yahweh Bashim Shai wants it to be, man. All the ways of all the ways of man are of the Lord, man. All man's goings, man. Right. Even the even the, the the men that do wickedness, that's the Lord wanted them to do that, man. The Lord wanted them to be evil demons, man. So He's justified in destroying them, man. That goes back to the the, the so-called white man. The Lord the Lord wanted the white man to do this, man. 
because he's he's that vessel fitted for destruction. The Lord has fit him like you, you buy a fitted hat and you put it on, you get it sized, or you buy a suit, you got to get it tailored. The Lord has tailored and fitted the so-called white race and anybody following him for destruction, man. That's why, man. The Lord ordains and orchestrates all the goings of every spirit that He put in every vessel on the earth, man. You see? Uh, like Jeremiah ten. Kind of, kind of Jeremiah ten and twenty uh twenty three. God. This is Jeremiah ten and twenty three. It says, "O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself." <laughs> you see? So the ways that you do, the things that you do, that's not in yourself, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord ordains uh, different actions for you to perform throughout the day, man. All right, and at the end of the day, you've played out what the Lord wanted you to play out that day. All right, the Lord wanted you, you know, the Lord wanted you to uh, 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 see. All right, what a righteous will only see. The Lord wanted you to see after reading the scriptures that he, that you're, that he's in control, man. He's in the driver's seat. All right, that's why he tells us that we have to have faith in him. If we have faith in him, then we're going to follow everything and do whatever we need to do during the day, knowing that it's being orchestrated by the Lord and nothing else, is nothing, no, no harm is going to come of it if we're doing what we're supposed to do. But of the wicked, they don't care about anything. So what they do throughout the day, whether it be wickedness, whether it be, you know, adultery, you know, killing, robbing, raping people, you know, getting over on their people, you know, that's all ordained by the Lord as well. The Lord wanted them to do that. Because in their mind, that's what they want. That's what their heart is about, man. That's what their mind is about. So the Lord lets them play out all the things in their mind based off of his control, man. He's the one that opens up that door and that window. The ways of man are not in himself, man. That's what the blessing is, is getting into, man. It says, Jeremiah 10, Jeremiah 10 and 23, O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps, man. So we don't direct our steps, man. Like the brother went into when a, when, a, when a man or woman goes to sleep, the Lord seals your instructions for the next day. So whatever you wake up in the morning and do throughout that day, that was already planned by you. Whether it be bad or good, man. You see? Then it says, oh, that was the point. That was the point. Uh, can, uh, Matthews chapter 6, verse 26. <clears throat> it says, Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father uh, feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And we can't do any of these things, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's the Lord that's doing it, man. You know, for the fact that the Lord feeds you when you have some money and you go get you some food or you go get you some drink. You know what I'm saying? Or you are, or whatever you do in your daily lives and stuff, that's the Lord doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? We can't uh, add no. We can't just grow an inch whenever, whenever we feel like. It. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has made that process. You know what I'm saying? You know, verse 28 it says, "And why take ye thought for raiment? <clears throat> Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these." Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye little of faith? You know what I'm saying? So the Lord does all things, man. Every single thing that you do and stuff, the Lord is doing it, man. You know? Uh, how do you go get you some clothes, buy you some clothes? You know what I'm saying? Y'all think that you got to do this or you got children. It's like, oh, I got to set them up in school. I got to set them up this way. You know, uh, uh, I got to teach them this, teach them that so they can grow the correct way and stuff. That's all the Lord doing that, man. You know, and that's why it's a blessing because <clears throat> the Lord is showing that he got us, you know what I'm saying? And that he's also selecting and choosing a certain uh, number of people to have that right mind frame to receive salvation. Yeah. <clears throat> it's. Verse 31, it says, therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles see, for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all th these things. You know what I'm saying? And with them knowing that uh, we have all these things and when we go out and to go get all these things, it's the Lord doing it, man. He's the ultimate, uh, uh, you know, he's he's the one playing the PlayStation 4. Yeah, and we the characters, we're the characters <laughs> you know, who the wicked niggas too. 
<clears throat> they're gonna be used for a purpose as well, man. All right. You see, I got scripture for me. All right. This is a uh, Proverbs sixteen. Let's start at one. Uh -huh. Proverbs sixteen and one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 1. It says, The preparations of the mind in man, or the heart, and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits, which is what we were getting into, man. All right, we were also getting into how the Lord, the brothers getting into how the Lord is setting up people to walk in that right way. That's sanctioned by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, to, for us to even understand the truth. That's not in ourselves. We didn't choose to wake up one day and understand it with Israelites. All right, you can look at two-thirds of our people and see that they're still in a dead state. They think they're black, African, but the Lord chose special spirits. All right, Lord willing, we endure to the end, and we're those men, and we're a part of the number. All right, he chose people from the foundation, all right, to, to walk in, the, in in his ways in the last days, to receive that salvation that the uh, brother was born into, man. And he also chose the wicked to walk in their wicked ways so they can be destroyed, all right, for all their wickedness through all, out the, to, throughout all their past lives, man. Because the people that are wicked, they don't understand that they're, that that they're the same spirit coming back doing the same shit, man. All right, just like the prophets, the spirit of the prophets, the subjects of the prophets. You know, Lord willing, we were those same men doing this, coming back and understanding the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's ways in the, in the same mindset, man. You see? It says, verse 3, it says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord hath made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil, see? And that proves that the Lord has sanctioned people to be wicked, man. To all those people that that, 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 that say God loves everybody. No, the Lord, he, 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 loves to, he loves everybody, but he also loves the righteous, and he loves to destroy wickedness and wicked people, man. Which is why he ordained people to walk in the wrong way in these last days. Mm -hmm. All right, so he can prepare them for the time of evil, as that scripture just said, man. The Lord is, the Lord is not all flowers and love and stuff, man. <laughs> kind of See, candy and kind of candy and shit, man. The Lord will set you up and put your ass in the bind and let you get destroyed, man. You see? Right. And that also means that the Lord is going to put you in that mind frame where you're going to want to do this work, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do these sit downs, watch these videos, continue to read, continue to go over your, uh, continue to go over your, uh, scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, or your notes. You know, that's what the Lord is going to put you in a, in a righteous mind frame, man. You know? This is um, <clears throat> ooh, <laughs> uh, uh, I was almost got one. <laughs> this uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes, chapter thirty-three, ooh, chapter uh, thirty-three, verse fourteen. <clears throat> it says, "Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly." So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. You know what I'm saying? And these are the two mind frames that the Lord has created. You know what I'm saying? Like in every cartoon, every movie, every action movie, action TV show, TV show. You know what I'm saying? What ends up happening? You got a good side and a bad side. You know what I'm saying? And a good side is going to prevail. And this is the mind frame that you want to hope and ask the Lord every day that he keeps you in. You know what I'm saying? You know, because we don't want to get destroyed. We don't want to feel no nuclear fire. We don't want to feel um, starvation. Starvation. We don't want to feel cannibalism. You know what I'm saying? We want to be the ones protected by these things, man. You know what I'm saying? So you got to pray and fast and, and hope that the Lord is going to keep you in a good mind frame, man. What he deems is godly, man. Because even though we, we are <clears throat> we're subject onto sin, the thing is, is that the Lord is looking at the ones that he puts in their mind to do right or to try to do right, man. Yeah. You know, those ones that the Lord is looking at, you know, and that's why it's a blessing to be chosen to know this truth because you have a chance that you might be one of those ones with the godly mind frame. All right. You know, I got precepts. All right. This is uh, 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 2. We'll start at uh, verse 9. Uh, actually, we'll start at 8. Two and eight. <laughs> it's uh first Samuel two and eight. It says he raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, 
and he has set the world upon them. This is why we we, we depend on Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. We have faith in him, and we walk in the ways that he wants us to walk in. All right, that the scriptures tell a man to, uh, to to walk in, man. You see, the whole duty of man, as Ecclesiastes says, to is to follow righteousness and these law, statutes, and, com and commandments, man. If you are an Israelite, man. It says, but what the brother was going into, it says, verse 9, it says, He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. So the Lord, you know, he's going to keep it. He, if, you, if you pray to him, have faith and fast, you, you see, like the brother was saying, the Lord is going to uh, see that, that you're trying to do righteousness, and he's going to keep you, man. All right? But, if, 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 but, but other people out here, they don't understand this truth. They don't want to get right. They want to stay in their wickedness. The Lord is going to save them, man, for that day of destruction and evil, man. All right, but righteous men that are trying to do the right thing, the Lord's gonna do. The Lord's gonna, uh, he's gonna keep you, as the scripture says, man. And uh, the other scripture I brought out, he said he's gonna uphold you with his right hand. You see? Mm -hmm. And just like how the scripture says that all, uh, uh, every, all things come from heaven. You know what I'm saying? Hey, to have, to have that mind frame. You know what I'm saying? It's a heavenly mind frame, man. You know, like the scripture says in Ephesians that we are uh, of the heavens. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know, and people are of the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? To have to think about heavenly things, to uh, to see it fall, off, things that are greater than what you see right now and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing that the Lord has uh, bestowed and put upon us, man. You know, to understand that the Lord has a chosen people. You know, hey, that's 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 the beginning stages of being godly, man. You know, that's right. and the Lord put that in that spark of. Uh Inspiration. What's it say that all inspiration is by the Most High? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we we were inspired to understand to, to go deeper into this truth about ourselves all because of Yahweh Shai. All right, from His inspiration, from His uh from His orchestration. All right, like the brother said, we're characters. We're playing our roles, man. All right, and we happen to understand this truth and happen to be teaching it. All right, like the like the like the scripture says that certain people would be doing in the last days, man. That's why we hope, you know, to the that we endure to the end and we're those men, so we can get that glory that first uh, Samuel's talked about, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all I mean. Yeah, and uh, we hope this video was edifying. And we'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Racha Kodash, the ones to apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to your leg, which we hope to be Shalom and a Bob.